In this video, I'm going to help explain why it's important to place the components of your speakers in a vertical alignment as opposed to horizontal alignment uh, if your quest is for better sound quality. So sit back and relax and see this visual explainer. So I'm going to try and make some analogy between Photoshop and audio and your left and right placements. So inside your left and right channels there's a hard right and there's a hard left that's been recorded and then there's the phantom center. Now I'm just going to separate this image into its red, green and blue components even though turning them on and off does the exact opposite of what I just said. It's just the way uh, Photoshop renders them together. So you, you grab a layer like the green, let's just call the green layer is the tweeters on a three-way system. Now if your tweeters are um, a little bit wider than your mid-ranges, you'll get this happening. So on the right, let's just say they're wider on the right. They're pulling out to here. And let's just say that you balance your EQs correctly. You see the center image appears sharp and precise. And then your hard lefts have a less distinction and your hard rights have a less distinction. And then the mid right has a not as badly unfocused and your mid left is not as badly unfocused as your hard lefts and hard rights. Yet you'll be EQing and you get oh the center's just right, I have a great stage but you sort of have a half okay the rest of the stage like this bit over here and this bit over here. So the stage is a complete thing. Now, now we're going to do another analogy. Um, we're going to talk about EQing your bigger groups. So I've separated this Photoshop image into its three RGB color layers. And we're just going to select one. Let's just call this your mids. And you've got um, treble and you've got bass. But we're just going to say you've turned on the mids. And let's just say you don't EQ them very well. I'm going to add a distortion. Distort. In a visual sense, we're going to do some waves, and this represents the pull from left to right that you will have. If you have the frequency higher on one side, it will pull that way. If you have the speaker at another frequency, let's just say each row is a frequency within the mid range, and you'll get this left and right pulling all your frequencies in the mids. So before, after. When you put the other bass and treble back in, you will notice that you have a slightly undefined image, even though it was just the mid-range that you forgot to EQ. And so you start to have fuzzier ranges. Let's just go again on another channel. Let's just say that we didn't EQ the, the treble very well filter, distort, wave, I have to randomize it a bit. And now we have uh, two channels that are slightly wonky. The mid range is wonky and the treble is wonky. And so even though it's just those two together is undefining the image. Let's go full full analogy and we'll distort the bass, distort, wave, a little bit different, okay, so we have a wonky in the bass, a wonky in the mids and a wonky in the treble, and then your picture of an image of a sound starts to look a bit left and right wonky. And then you add in 
the um, the stage pulling of the groups because you haven't lined up the drivers vertically. Uh, we'll just edit transform scale. Let's just say you, you, your mid range units are in a bit on the left, and they're in a bit on the right. And so we have kind of focused middle, and we have more separation on the left and right. It's just because your mids are placed a little bit differently. And this is what music, music can still convey, it's all its emotion and all its uh, impact and punch, even if you don't have a good stage, but you can have half okay stages and think that you've got a great center image and you're missing out on all this clarity just by following science or common sense. So yeah, think about where you place your drivers and how you EQ them. And there's also top to bottom, which your brain can kind of forgive when it comes to speaker placements, but left and right, I really believe you should be vertically aligning them.